Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Python Discord bot series. As you may have heard, Discord.py is now no longer maintained for several reasons you can read inside of the gist that was posted on the repository. Because of this, several people have decided to fork the repository and create a version of Discord.py that is maintained. Of these different forks, the one I'm switching to is Nextcord. Nextcord will be reworking the API wrapper interaction commands, and all of the new Discord features. It is currently based on the Discord 2.0 branch, so components like buttons and select menus already exist within this library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate from Discord.py to Nextcord, and it should be very easy. To migrate from Discord.py to Nextcord, the main thing you need to know about is that you'll need to install this package and change the imports. In the previous videos in this series, I've been showing you how to make a Discord bot with Discord.py, so I'll be switching that bot over to be using Nextcord. The first thing I'll need to do is install Nextcord. So I have this command over here. For Windows, you could use this, and for Linux or Mac, you can use this one. You'll need to paste this into your terminal and install Nextcord. You'll also want to make sure that Discord.py is uninstalled since you won't be needing anymore. To do that, you can say pip uninstall discord.py. Now the first thing we'll do is fix our requirements because we no longer want discord.py, we want to be using nextcore. So I'm going to type in pip freeze and use grep to find nextcore. Now grep is a Linux or Unix system command, so on Windows this might not work, but you can run pip freeze and see the entire list. Um, now here is the current version of Nextcord, so I'll put that into my file in place of discord.py. Next I'll go to bot.py, and you notice I have from discord.ext import commands, I'm going to need to change it to Nextcord. I'm going to do a find in files by pressing Control shift f I can actually do a replace by doing Control shift h and then type Nextcord over here. I'm not going to click replace all just yet because we need to make sure that I'm not going to be replacing too much. So let's go through these one at a time. Here we have from discord.exe import commands. That should be replaced with nextcord. So I'll replace that one. Has connected to discord. That's fine. We'll leave it alone. Discord token we'll leave alone. We'll leave the, re the readme alone. That's fine. It's just these imports are the main thing that we need to be worried about the imports, but also if you're using like um, discord.embed, for example, in one of your cogs, you'll need to change it to nextcord.embed, things like that. Anything that uses discord as the name of the module, you'll have to replace that with nextcord. So yeah, this readme and these two occurrences of discord, I'm not going to replace, I'm going to leave those as is. Now this underline over here just means that you can't find it yet because I haven't reloaded VS Code, so I'm going to go ahead and reload that so that those imports will show up. And there we go. Now next chord is found and we have all of the things that we had in discord.py. Now let's try running and see what happens. Just like that, next chord has connected to discord. And we can go ahead and try it out. Let's try our ping command and we see that our bot is connected and running. Now, there are a few things to know when migrating from discord.py to Nextcore, and you can read about that in the documentation. You can click docs over here. We'll go over to the docs, and here we have some information about migrating. Right now, the main thing to worry about is migrating to version 2 .0. If you're using version 1.7.3 with discord.py, you'll need to first read this, and eventually if Nextcord has breaking changes, it will show up in migrating to Nextcord over here. So the first thing is migrating to 2.0. There are a few things such as avatar URL, that has been changed to avatar.url, and a few things about stickers. Version 2.0 is the one that releases buttons and other components, so it's very useful to have those available in Nextcord. It's very likely that you won't have to change any of these things, but if you do happen to be using one of these features, you'll find it over here and you can change it. Now if we look at migrating to Nextcord, 
There isn't any information here yet, but if there are any breaking changes it's from discord.py to nextcore, they will show up over here. Right now, the library has been very good about keeping things working as is and not breaking anything in order to make the process of migrating as simple as possible. Now, Nextcord has a few features that have already been added, such as welcome screens, and there are many more features, such as interaction commands, that will be coming very soon. So st stay tuned, and you can join the Discord server for Nextcord to keep up with the latest updates. I'll put a link to that in the description. I also have a link to my Discord server if you'd like to ask any questions there. And before I conclude this video, I'd like to tell you about this Discord bot template that I put together. You can feel free to use this template or make a copy of it to start off your Discord bot. It is already set up with the requirements for Nextcord, and it has the basic structure for a maintainable bot with a COGS folder containing a ping command and a help command. Eventually slash commands will be released, and in that case we might not even need the help command anymore and the ping command will probably convert over, but for now these are the regular message commands, and it's all together in one place. If you have any suggestions for this repository, feel free to let me know. You can open an issue or pull request if you have anything to discuss, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye!